How do binoculars work? Binoculars cleverly use the concept of optics to enable us to view distant objects with ease. They are based on the principles of refraction of light. As a kid, I always wanted to own those super cool pair of binoculars that the S.H.I.E.L.D. agents used in Marvel movies. Imagine being able to look into the details of your surroundings. Optics behind the binoculars. Binoculars work on the concept of refraction of light. The whole magic is of how lenses slash prisms effectively implement this property of light. Refraction When light passes through different media it bends outwards or inwards depending upon the density of the medium it's traveling to. This is called the refraction of light. If light travels to a denser medium it bends inwards and if it travels to a rarer medium it bends outwards. Lenses and magnification The word lens comes from the Latin word for lentil, depicting its shape. Therefore, a lens is a curved glass through which light can be transmitted or refracted. Primarily, there are two types of lenses convex lens and concave lens. The convex lens is thicker in the middle and thinner towards the side. This construction helps light to refract inwards and allows to focus distant rays into a smaller region forming a small image of the distant object. It is used as the objective lens of the binoculars. The concave lens, on the other hand, is thinner in the middle and thicker towards the side. The light refracts outwards forming comparatively larger images of smaller objects. Hence, it behaves like a magnifying glass. So, the eyepiece is made up of this type of lens for us to see the image of the object clearly. Prisms and their arrangement A prism is a three-dimensional piece of glass that can rotate and reflect an image. Hence, Prisms are deployed in binoculars to rotate the inverted image through 180 and obtain an upright image at the eyepiece. Each prism can rotate light by an angle of 90. A set of two prisms in each tube is used to obtain the desired image in a pair of binoculars. There are two types of arrangement of the prism namely, poro prisms and roof prisms. In poro prisms, the two prisms are arranged side by side at 90. This results in a bulkier structure of the binoculars. In roof prisms, the two prisms are arranged in a straight line along the direction of light propagation. This results in compact binoculars. Different types of binoculars. With advancements in science and technology, devices are becoming better each day. The binoculars have broadened their horizon of versatile use and emerged into some categories listed below. Mini binoculars. They are portable and can be stuffed into your backpack easily. They may be not as powerful as the full sized one but still serve the purpose quite well. Zoom binoculars. These types of binoculars specialize in changing the magnification of the lenses according to your requirements in zooming into or out of objects. Wide angle binoculars. As the name suggests, these binoculars have a wider field of view than normal binoculars enabling you to cover a better range to spot objects in open spaces. They are ideal for wildlife and game spotting. High-powered binoculars. They are used as an alternative to telescopes by astronomers. They are ideal for long-distance viewing due to their high levels of magnification. Night vision binoculars. These are probably the coolest type of binoculars that can enable you to see distant objects in the dark. Used especially by military or special forces, these make use of photosensitive lenses and photocathodes. Thermal imaging may also be available in these binoculars.